Hey guys, how's it going? Alexander the Standard here, and the Archmage is in the building, baby! <laughs> uh, so today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Since I have uh, completely uh, done the Mage's College quests, I thought that I would go and do, uh, you know, a little bit of grunt work for the college, because even though I am Archmage, I'm not above, you know, going to, to fetch a few things or help out the, uh, the other mages here at the college. So I'm gonna go around today and see if I can get some quests from these guys and uh, we can knock some out today. So consider this kind of an epilogue for the uh, the College of Winterhold storyline. So let's go ahead without any further ado and get going. I think we could blow up half of East March and people would still come to us for enchantments. <laughs> Is there a college business I can assist with? I need some more supplies. Can you help out with that? Sure, what did you say you needed? I'm running low on common soul gems. I need at least five more, if you could find them. You need to tell me a magical college doesn't have access to common soul gems? That's weird. Um, but that's okay, because I've got them, so... So you do. Thank you. This will help quite a bit. Awesome. Okay, so here's a quest we can do. Find a copy of Ramanada. So that is a quest that we can do. That is a hop, skip, and a jump. Hobbs Fall Cave. Alright, we're just gonna go ahead and fast travel to Sarthal. Okay, so we're on the hunt for some books for... What's this? Oh, no. You guys, are these my first vampires? I think they are. Oh, I missed. Oh, my first vampire attack. So that's pretty cool, you guys. Oh, it looks like there's a standing stone over here. How do you think it died? So we found a standing stone. I figured while I was out here, I might as well uh, check it out. Ooh, the tower. Actually, I actually have no idea what this does. Let's see. Those under the sign of the tower have the option to automatically open expert or lower locks. You may only have one signed blessing at a time. Uh, I don't see how I need that right now. Uh, I've been, I think I've been doing pretty good with uh, opening locks, so we're just gonna go ahead and leave that off. But again, it's nice to have that marker there. So I think I remember reading somewhere that originally this game was going to be a, uh, a Game of Thrones game, but uh, something happened with the license, and Bethesda just decided to make it an Elder Scrolls game. I don't know how true that is, but. All right, we discovered the cave, which should have the book that we need. Oh, well, that doesn't sound good. I think someone's trapped up here. Bad skeleton. I mean, kinda? Jesus Christ. Well, if there's anyone else in this cave, they definitely know I'm here now. This cave's a lot more vast than I thought it was going to be. This woman reanimate a goat. <laughs> For some reason.
Either I'm completely missing these guys or my lightning bolt has no effect. Ooh, small pearl. Damn. Okay. There's the book we need. A new hand touches the beacon. Listen, hear me and obey. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. Return my beacon to Mount Kilcree. And I will make you the instrument of my cleansing light. Okay, so that apparently triggered a quest. The, uh, the Break of Dawn. And, uh, we're not going to do that this episode, but we will, uh, hit it later. All right, so we've collected our book for Urag, so we're gonna go ahead and get the flock out of here. Oh, don't get up. Archmage or not, my rules about books still stand. Uh, here's the book you were looking for. Looks like you're still in one piece. And more importantly, so is the book. Thank you. Ah, I figured he would have one in here, so we're going to steal that. Well, not stealing it. It's technically mine, but, uh... Okay, let's see if there's anyone else in the college that requires my assistance. You... you can see me? Of course I can. Confound it all. I was quite sure I was invisible. Or at least transparent. Uh, is there a college business I can assist with? There may be a matter in which your skills could be useful. Oh. The various points of focus for magic energies around the college have become polluted and need cleansing. Mm, all right, I'll help. Very well. These specially enchanted gloves will allow you to delve directly into the focal points for these energies. Go to each focal point and remove whatever impurities you may find there. Return the gloves to me when you have finished. Please exercise caution. This is not a procedure without possible consequences. Okay, so... Did I do it? Uh, second one. Okay, so that one's good now. Okay, that one's good. Well, not gonna lie, I was kind of expecting more from that quest, but that's fine. I wonder what we could have done with the eye, had it been put to better use. Your focal points have been, um, 
cleansed. Yes, they have. I can feel the difference already. But, of course, I'm far more in tune with these sorts of things than most. Thank you. I appreciate your assistance. Don't mention it. Let's see who else needs my help. You consider restoration a valid school of magic? Worthy of study? Don't you? Don't you? Of course it's valid. Good. Good. Not that I require validation, of course. There are just some, and I shan't name names, who would disagree. It can make life difficult when one's colleagues fail to recognize the research one engages in. So you're treated badly because of your work? Well, no, not really. Not directly, I mean. But I know things are being said behind my back. Conversations cease when I enter rooms. I'm quite aware of what's going on here, and I will not stand for it. Until all next right. time. You do you, boo-boo. Uh, what do you need help with? We're all trying to become better mages, right? Well, I need someone I can practice a few spells on. Nothing dangerous, really. Would you be willing to assist me? Um... Of course. Oh, good. I was afraid I'd have to go ask Shizargo. Now, you just stand there. Please hold still, and don't move. Good to see Skyrim. There. Now I... You oh dear. Old man. That wasn't supposed to happen. Do you... Do you feel alright? You look very... Um... Green. I am so very sorry. I went over this again and again, and I was sure it would have better results. Um, <laughs> what did you do? I'm not really sure. I think it's just a minor miscalculation on my part. I'm sure it will wear off soon. When it does, you'll be perfectly fine, and then we can try again. In the meantime, I'll see about figuring out what went wrong. You look like you could use a hand. Well, yes. This is rather embarrassing, but it seems I've misplaced something. I can't find my Alembic. I suppose I could use another one, but, well, it sounds silly, but mine has sentimental value. If you happen to see it, would you mind bringing it to me? Of course, that all sounds right, silly then. at all. Thanks to you, the people of Skyrim will continue to have a place to study magic, even if most of them resent you for it. I never would have suspected that the eye could be so dangerous. Tulfdir is right, isn't he? Magic really can overwhelm you. Something wrong? Yes, but it needs to be kept quiet. Oh, sure. I may have entered into an agreement with Enther. He had something I needed, so I traded him something of mine. It was a mistake, and now I want back what I gave him. It's an amulet that belonged to my family, and I never should have given it to Enther. But he won't deal with me. Talk to him. See what it'll take to get my amulet back. The Archmage triumphant. The College, Skyrim, all of Tamriel owes you a great debt. I'm quite pleased that we're back to business as usual. Uh, yeah, so I understand you have something of Onman's that he wants back. Oh my, how precious. Onman is too afraid to deal with me himself, and so he sent you. I'll make this very simple for you. All my trades are final. Onman knew this ahead of time and went through with it anyway. So there's nothing more to be said. So I am the Archmage. I could just order him to give it back. There must be something I can do to change your mind. Look how persistent you are. It's charming, really. Onman gave up the first time I said no, but not you. All right, I'll tell you a little story. Let's pretend for a moment that a certain individual was looking to acquire a particular staff. Let's also pretend that he traded some valuable items for said staff. And it was only later that it was realized that this individual might misuse such a staff. The resulting disaster would reflect quite poorly on everyone involved. Are you following me? Dude, if you could summon Mount What's Your Point, I'd really appreciate it. You're not very good at this, are you? 
Look, I traded a staff to someone and found out later that was a bad idea, so I'd like the staff back. Understand now? Um, okay, sure, I'll get the staff for you. Finally, we have an agreement. I look forward to having it back soon. The sooner the better, in fact. If you can spare the time. Your spell finally wore off. Exactly as I said it would. Now, are you ready to try again? I am confident it will work this time. Uh, yeah, let her rip. This will be worth it. Okay, now don't move at all. Oh, fuck. Oh, my. That isn't right. Just wait. Just... I can fix this. What the... I'm a fucking cow! Oh, no. Now I'm a horse! This really isn't turning out that way. Now I'm just a good boy! I swear. There. All better. Well, it all worked out in the end, didn't it? Let's never speak of this again. Agreed. And thank you for your help. You're a good friend. That crazy bitch. Okay, so now I have to go ahead and get the staff for Enthir after that whole debacle. And holy crap, that is a ways away. That is in ruin. Well, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and sell some stuff real quick. And uh, offload and I will return momentarily. Oh, hey, I while I'm here. Time, once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the Bannered Mare from Hulda. Hey, while I was in town, I thought I'd tell you I got your mammoth's tusk. Thank you. This should turn that old cat's gaze. Maybe I'll be able to become a caravaneer myself one day. As promised, let me show you a thing or two about bargaining. Don't want some shifty merchant giving you a raw trade. Cool. Okay, so we're back on the road. Uh, I fast-traveled to uh, Mizolt for... Uh, well, to get to this... It looks like a dungeon right here. Uh, Anzelvund. So we're going to go ahead and walk there from here. And need to find this staff. What the hell is that noise? That's what the hell that noise. Dragon out of nowhere. Here I thought this video was gonna be boring. First time I've ever stunned a dragon. Oh yeah, while well, I'm thinking about up uh, upgrading my gear a little bit, I have uh, dwarven gauntlets that I improved and um, some dwarven boots that I've also improved. To go went ahead and made both of those items. Okay, so bandits it looks like. Honestly, like bandits are going to be a nice change of pace. I spoke too soon. Really hoping it was just gonna be bandits. Turns out it's uh, evil mages again, but you know that's to be expected. 
Hi ho! Hi ho! Hi ho! Hi ho! All right, let's go get the staff. Interesting. You don't really see uh, armor and stuff like that. In a, uh, these look like regular bandits, though. So. No, that is a Draugr. What the fuck are Draugr doing down here? Okay, chain lightning rules. Oh man, the music's like super tense. I don't know if I like that. God, did I just one-shot him? Sweet. A lot of other folks in this cave, though, looks like. So let's go ahead and take this opportunity to heal. Shit, 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 shit. Yep. Yep. Posture. Pose. That's just regular jogger. Got him! Apprentice level lock. I am Lua Alstaven. Fuck. Who are you to disrupt my work? Be gone, or I will add you to my army of the dead. Okay, um, okay, so, sorry, I didn't mean to freak out like that, but, uh, I'm wearing headphones, and, um, that legit scared the shit out of me. Ha ha ha. you gotta love it. But damn it, now goat cheese sounds really good right now. Rise from your graves to defeat this worm. I'm sorry, what's that? I can't hear you over the sound of my deafening awesomeness. Didn't I originally come here to find a staffer, dude, so he would give it back to that whiny Nord and. Or he, he would give something back to that Nord? Like, isn't that the whole reason I'm here? One thing about Skyrim, I, you kind of lose focus of what you're supposed to. Why do I have dwarven shit on me? Let's get rid of this. Got him. God damn. The chain lightning ain't no joke. You know, it's weird. Typically, these uh, structures, like, you can kind of tell what its purpose is when you go in. It's like, okay, this is what was. An old temple, this was a mine, this was a burial crypt. This one seems to be an amalgamation of all three. And it's very confusing. Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> Looks like we have ourselves another puzzle. Second copy of that book I found. Oh, this is, uh, what's-her-name's journal. 
25 years I have grieved for my husband and sought revenge against the Empire for his death. I have researched the magics to return his spirit to a body and something about the story of Fiori and Holgir has drawn me here. Sorry, I shit at pronouncing some of these names. Holgir would make the perfect vessel to bring my Sael back to life. I've managed to raise the dead here and use them as laborers to clear the way to the main burial hall. Something about the methods used by the ancient Nords has kept them incredibly well preserved. Would that these Stormcloaks had half their sense. We will have used them to push the elves right off the continent and formed a new state to combat the Empire. And now I am so close. A war breaks out. The sleeping bear of Skyrim, who would not come to, to aid us in Hammerfell, awakens now that the Empire has abandoned them as well. They think they know suffering at the hands of the Empire. They know nothing. I would see both the Empire and the Sons of Skyrim into oblivion myself. I mean, that at least gives, um, answers my questions from earlier about what the fuck this building's supposed to be. Okay, so there doesn't seem to really be any hint. Wait a minute, am I an idiot? Or should I read that book? Okay, so yeah, the answer to this riddle is actually in this book. So we have eagle, we have snake, we have whale, we have snake. Okay, eagle, snake, whale, snake. Eagle, snake, whale, snake. Presto. Honestly didn't realize this little side quest is gonna take me so deep into this, uh, these chambers. Let's not step on any of the traps, please. Let's gingerly walk around. I'm letting force that. Excuse me. That's gonna come back and bite me in the ass. Yep. I shall have vengeance for the death of my husband. Rise! <laughs> Bet your ass there's someone here. I'm out of magic. Stop running. You're about to I could not raise him. But I will raise an army to avenge his defilement. Shit. Shit. No. God. No. Way too many damn traps in this dungeon. Oh, this looks like the main chamber. They burned his body before I could raise him. It should have been returned to me. You will not stop me from killing those who wage this pointless war. Running. Oh my god.
Skadoosh! Cool. Fatality. Thank you for releasing us from her spell. Now we can rest in peace once again. Come, Fury, my love. Take this with our gratitude. That was legitimately a nice end of that story. Ghostblade. I still haven't found that goddamn staff that I came here for in the first place. Yeah, was not expecting this whole uh, other story to play out while I was down here. But uh, you know what? I'm down. Found a note. Fourth Era 175 Imperial Citizen Lua Al Skaven. It is with deepest regret that I must inform you of the death of your husband, Sale. He laid down his life in battle, helping retake the Imperial City from the Aldmeri. He showed great courage in his final hour, and his sacrifice will not be in vain. All considered him a man of high moral standing and a shining example of the best the Empire has to offer. In this hour of your grief, please take solace in the fact that he gave up his life protecting the Empire, which he held so dear. Yours sincerely, Imperial Prefect Prius Brucius. Jesus. So yeah, one of the few times I actually felt the, well, not even the few times, like that was a, that, that was kind of a good villain that they uh, wrote for that. And Grand Staff of Charming, creatures and people up to level eight won't fight for 30 seconds. I think that was, yep, that was the staff I was supposed to find. Oh, well, this is lovely. The things that I do for my students. Hey. I'm quite pleased that we're back to business as usual. Pleasure doing staff. business with you. Till next time. I've certainly learned more here than I ever expected to. Here's your amulet. I didn't think he'd really give it back. Thank you, friend. It's good to know I can count on you. Yeah, next time, grow some fucking nuts and do it yourself, dude. Tolfdeer is missing his Alembic, and I don't have a quest marker for it, so I think that might just be a random thing I'm gonna find in the world. You are new, yes? Have you mastered the expert level destruction spells yet? Uh, not yet, but I will. Ah, this is good, but Jezargo will know them first. It is good to finally be around mages who may be able to keep up with Jezargo. What did you need help with? Jezargo has seen that Torfdir likes you. You must be very skilled with magic, yes? Jezargo is working hard, but cannot do it alone. Can you help with this? Exactly what kind of help do you need? Jezargo has worked hard on learning new spells, trying new things. This will make Jezargo stand out as a mage. But Jezargo works so hard, there is no time to test these new spells. If you help with the testing, this will make learning easier. Jezargo will give you scrolls. You will use them and report the results. This is a good plan, no? You tell Jezargo when you are ready. All right, I'll help you. Give me the scrolls. Uh, you can resist, can you? Let's see. This one, I think. Jezargo has designed it to be an excellent flame cloak with a twist. It is especially potent against the undead, and should burn them to a crisp in no time. Jezargo gives you plenty of these scrolls, so you try them and return when you can say whether they work. Okay, well, I'm obviously not going to be able to just go out and do that right now, so we will keep that in our back pocket. And uh, remember that next time we encounter some undead. And on that note, you guys, that is going to do it for me for now. Uh, College of Winterhold, for the most part, is uh, pretty much done for now. Uh, I really enjoyed this quest line. Like I said uh, in an earlier video, it's the first time I've actually done it to completion. But, uh, yep, the Archmage stands here ready to help his school when he needs it. Next time, uh, 
we're probably just going to do some side quests and uh, get some of those knocked out before we figure out our next big uh, quest line. So uh, until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And uh, if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. And why did you start with this episode? I have a whole playlist in the description below. Go ahead and click that. Watch the whole playlist. And, uh, yep, until then, I've been Alexander the Standard. You've been awesome. Catch you guys next time. Take care of each other. Bye.